Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. From all the way in America. This is your boy, Bigfoot. <laughs> morning, yo. People a long time in a go live and hold a proper discussion. Hey, Jimmy. Um, this morning, I am motivated to go live for two reasons. See? One reason is um, the youth named Joshi. I watch um, him ear interview and he motivate me to go live right now. So I got to talk about Joshi and then I got to talk about Ding Dong. Zin? Yeah, so we got to reason about Joshi first. And then a reason about Ding Dong. Zin? Grand rising to everybody, you know? Great awakening, you know? Yeah. So, the topic I did here, and the last thing I got viral since last night, you see that? A Joshi. No. You know me already. Um, I see certain things I got to speak on it, yeah? I see a whole heap of people abash the youth and I try to burn out the youth. See? Um, me personally, see? Me personally think it was an amazing interview. I think Joshi did well. Zin, remember, most of the time, people want to act according and act by what society want you to act like. But in reality, you have to act by what your inner spirit feel. You have to react to situation based on how your spirit resonates with it and your emotional experiences and physical experiences and all of them things. Now, everything that Josh is saying in another interview there come confirm when me been a say all along and me I can show you why. Remember, you know, when some man you say Anthony Miller got interview them or Winford Williams. Them think about all the best way to say what they want to say and fix up what they want to say and twist up what they want to say and make it look good for TV. No, Joshi never did that in them interview. Joshi taught the truth and said it plain and straight. Oh, it really is. The man say it like it is and not like what you would like it to be. So that's why some people are going like them who are called on the youth now with the comments on the stupidity because most of them are both a slave. Most of them are a puppet. You see what I say? Me personally, I love how the man deal with the interview and him not say nothing wrong. First thing where we resonate with me what Joshi say. Joshi look pa Anthony Miller and him say You have a license gun? No. The man say you have bodyguard? No. The man say you have millions? No. The man say you're not afraid. The man say you have to protect yourself at all times. No people. How long? See? How long? When you hear me, footer hyper telling us it. it is unfair the way our Jamaica system set up 
in terms of protection. One, the police cannot protect the people. The police cannot protect the people. No, the government have to equip the people to protect themselves while waiting for the police to protect them. How long may I preach to you? I said, listen, the government of Jamaica, if they want to curtail crime, them affi, there's no going around it, affi make a license firearm more accessible and more easy to get. You hear what Joshi asked here, Anthony Miller say, do you have a license firearm? No. Second thing the man asked him, the man say, you have a bodyguard? No. Third thing the man said to him, you have millions? No. Man say you're not afraid. You're half afraid. You're half afraid. No. One of our one of our major problem in Jamaica is crime. How are you going to curtail crime if the gunman have gone and them victim cannot defend themselves? Oh you gonna win. Oh 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 you're lovely playing field. Them have to make life gun more accessible. Them have to make life gun like our Florida. Once you have no convictions and you are legal in the country, you go go apply for your firearm and protect yourself. There's still going to be police, of course, but now me can guarantee you. Me can guarantee you. If they make lice firearm more accessible in Jamaica, instantly crime rate drop by 50%. May I ask you? May I tell you? And it not take rocket science to see this. Me as an elder, Zine, I said that all along. Zine, and then Joshi as a juvenile now. Come and say the same thing. That means say, there is a problem. That means there is a problem. If me, the older generation, I said the same thing with the younger generation, I said then, then obviously we have a problem. Obviously, we are make sense. Let me tell you the first thing one and I understand. Because I talk about trigger up here, everything. Something got to give. You see the minute they make le legal gun accessible, to each and every citizen. First thing I got happen. A you don't want to get a conviction. Because him want the opportunity. If you can go get him license gun. That are the first thing. I got to make crime slow down. A you don't want to go do no crime. And get a conviction. Because him I got to want to go for him license gun. That are the first thing you know. Remember it not take rocket science. We know them something you know. You know why gunmen so dominant? Because they're not a competition. Them only fear is police. And there's only 6,000 police in Jamaica. Or 7,000 police in Jamaica. While there are 3 million people. The police cannot do the work. Youth. If a youth no say. Him can go apply for him license gun with him driver's license. And him clean fingerprint. You think say him a run go do not look a fool fool crime for mash up him thing? No. Alright, I'm gonna read that comment here and sorry for tell the lady, but you sound very stupid. The lady said we don't need firearm. We need love, peace, and happiness in our country. Not to, no to gun. Lady. Why is there no peace and unity? Because of the gun. When a gunman have gun in her ear and know say nobody else not have none, you can't live in peace. Him come take away more, rape your daughter, broke your house, thief out your things, watch you when you come from work on Friday and jam you with the matic and take away your pay, lick you in your face, kill your picnic in front of you and nothing not come out of it. All you want to tell police and can't tell police. Because when you tell police 
and then I hear us police gone in bed. I gone home. And you and they have to deal with the gunman. So we are talking about. The gun is already there. So you have to level the playing field you are talking about love. Or you get love and peace. Or you get love and peace. Eh? Or you get love and peace. Which part? Go tell a gunman boy you come with love and peace, no? No put a shot in your face. Every citizen of Jamaica should be given the opportunity to protect themselves. Every single one. Every single one. Every single one should be able to protect themselves. I guarantee you, if Lysi Firearm become accessible to every citizen in Jamaica who is legal and who don't have a criminal record, crime rate drop by 50% at the same time. That's why you can hear youth like Josh, you know, come and ask the question, if Anthony Miller have a license gun, or if he have a bodyguard, you understand what I mean, say? Because the only way you can protect yourself, you have to go get a legal gun around you. You understand what I mean, say? And most regular citizens cannot pay a bodyguard to be with them. We are public figure and everywhere we are going, we can pay a bodyguard. Somebody said, I think it will make it worse. You only think it will make it worse because you are coward. This is America. America worse crime prone than anywhere in the world. A Florida, you know why enough man to kill man boy? Yeah? Because every man have gone boy. Yeah. It leveled the playing field. A man knows so when he might approach you, and I like him I approach you, you're wounded, you're not a gun. You have gone and him have gone, him have been careful. I'm have to know him touch him waist, cause him can't touch him waist and you can't touch yours. And that's why so much man live a foreign and I live a, a ramp with people and not dead. Because every man have gone. And a man also knows it. If him just take off him like he's gonna find waste and fire it, police are sent and say I got a prison. So know that. On the hunger a sick, it got worse because you know a coward. And I'm afraid. So what you rather be? You rather be an unarmed coward and dead for nothing? Or you rather be a coward with a gun that can fire two shots? When somebody fire shot or fire. Level the playing field. Crime rate cannot drop at Jamaica. Will not drop. You hear what Joshy said? You have rate the youth interview. So till the man said, Me can't stop crime. And the man said, Yo, what's a can't stop crime? The man said, police of a station can't stop crime. And a reality the youth attack. A reality the youth attack. Because when you live in a garrison community, say you have 12 or 10 people in your family, uno, uno segregated in a three different yard. See? And a man got murder one of your family for nothing. Your family in a them right, no trouble nobody, nothing. He more rob your family and your family no decides them not to rob and him shot it. And because you and him a family, by the time you wake a morning, the gunman run a year gate and say, Pussy, how many son around here talk about? You don't want to re re And you say, You might move from a gate, you might kill my family and, and come here, re re and you and him in an argument, him kill you too. A two that gone out of your family. And then the war start. So the next one in the air family decides to say, Nah, dead. And go look at illegal gun for buy now. So instead of you have a legal protection you have two gunmen now because me now make you come kill me like how you kill my two family them and you decide say you have to run the place and you kill what you feel like you have gun you understand me i say well if everybody have a license gun and a man know say you man i got really got trouble nobody can them have gone and me have gone i want to man man think twice when them for ramp with people budget crime rate would have dropped by 50 percent instant and I've been saying this for years. It not take a rocket scientist. It not take no diploma and a degree if you see that. 
it not take no diploma and a degree if you see that. First thing, you don't worry about it, it got worse. When a man have a license gun attached to him name, and know say if him go there so, and go rob nobody with a gun, they might go to prison. Or if him left him gun careless, and make people go rob with him gun, him can't take back that. A prison him go. If him lend nobody, him gonna hear it and a bet it. Wanna know? Yeah. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. The government of Jamaica need to level the playing field. Mad people they everywhere, lady. Where I say now make no sense. You have some mad people out there, so because mad people out there, we're gonna make everybody else dead off. We're gonna make everybody else dead off. Remember, say, getting a license gun, you still have to go to your competence. You have to go to your competence training and know how to operate a gun and know how to fire a gun and uh, everything. You have to go through the proper training. You have to go through the proper something, them sexy lips, big up yourself. So, I like you, I get up and just call them and I say, Come here, see a gun here. And first thing, if you have a conviction, you are not going to be eligible for a license for your arm. So, when you stop going like we are, we are idiot, like we are, so just get up and, and give man gun, like, listen to me, man. Listen to me. Anyhow, Jamaican government do not make license firearm more accessible to everybody, including the regular man where I take bus and I ride bicycle. Our crime problem is never going to be fixed. Never. Because once gunmen have gone and feel like, say, they have power over you, they are going to step out of line, they are going to rob you, they are going to beat you, they are going to kill you. You understand? They are going to do your be a thing. The government of Jamaica need to make license gun accessible to each and every citizen who is a law-abiding eligible citizen. Whether you ride bicycle, whether your bank account empty or your bank account full, it no matter. Whether you live in a garrison or you live uptown, it no matter where you're there. You feel able to access. Let me tell you the real truth. Why the government do not want to make a license gun accessible. Them, like when politics time, when them call the era leader and give them the gun, them, them have power over the regular people, them, and force them to vote. That is why the government is reluctant to make license guns something accessible to all law-abiding citizens. Them want, when freedom time come, them can press the ear leader button and him run out with the tall stick and the rifle them. And the people them get freed and run go vote because they now want dead and they now want them horse bond down. And them. That's why. That's why. Lady, you disagree because you're a coward. And you're only think about the negative. You're not think about the positive effect of everybody bearing arms. Everybody bearing arms is way more safer than a group of people alone bearing arms and the rest of people them not have none. You understand what I'm saying? It is better for everybody to bear arms than one section of people have bare arms. Yeah, you eat gun because you're afraid, you're scared. Cannot make um, nation decisions based on coward. You have, make, you have to make decisions that benefit the whole country. You can't make two you say you eat gun or you coward a gun. You say, all right, no, gun not illegal. Because young lad thinks that you coward. Look on the, the ratio of our crime problem 
over the over the decades in a Jamaica. It nah get no better. You understand me? I say, gun kill your father, gun kill whole pa people you that boy. I know your father alone. So true gun kill your father, you want them to kill you with gun too. So you wouldn't like, say, if them try to come kill you with a gun like how them kill your father, you can pop off a gun and defend yourself and nobody dead by a gun. Hmm? You, you don't think so? You, you don't think about that part there? To your coward, you think one-minded. We have to do that. The government, listen, for ever since, three things may have talked about, you know. And we are live now, you know, 2021, I got 2022. And these are the major problems affecting Jamaica. I mean, I mean, I mean, my one, Mr. Andrew Wallace, me beg him. Take away my father, rob my chance of my father. Be a boy, is a gun them use. So, we want, you want a gun, man, continue to have gun. I take away be a people, father, mother, and no defense. You know what I mean? A sense, yeah, man. This is what I say now. Three issues where I always point out with government. When I tell Andrew, say, if you win, I them three things I beg you to fix. And the man win, and the man not touch none of them, and of them are the three biggest problems. One, Jamaica Public Service Company, me beg the man, say, JPS need competition. People me want to remember good enough. And not when me attack, and not new me attack, you know. Remember, one, the major problem, me tell the man, JPS. Jamaica Public Service Company I rape the people and pack it. I beg him. Second thing, National Water Commission I rape the people and pack it. There's no option for the people. As a great leader, you need to create option for make the people them economically better off. You understand? Option Afi Dede. See? Number three, me beg the man for make firearm accessibility in a Jamaica easy. Me, people, all of who follow me long time can remember me say that. When me see governor, ball boy in, in water bill now. Half a million dollar for him water bill within two days. Come on now, man. What how oh, long me a talk about them something there? How oh, long me a talk about this something there? It don't take no rocket scientist, it don't take no diploma. You know, if you go to college, you know, if you go to university, if you see, say, these are the three things where I mash up Jamaica. Them are the three main concerns where we have. Next thing are the health facilities, them. We need more general hospital in a each parish. Why are these things being ignored when it's obvious that these are the biggest problems Jamaica face? Yeah, I saw for the ball boy light bill too. And he want to be like, who did not see the problem? What you tell me, say? Me can sit on yourself. And see all of these major problems are atrocities where I pressure the people them. And nobody in a parliament to see. Out of the whole 60 member of parliament in Jamaica have from both sides, nobody in a see say we have a light and power problem, we have a water problem, we have a crime problem, and we have a health facility problem. We need major hospitals in every single parish. These four things should be the main objective of the government of Jamaica. One, the JPS Public Service Light and Power Company where rape and rap the people them need to have competition. 
We need to have two more power company or three to create option for the customer, for the citizens of option. See? We need another water company or two water company so we can have option to step away from the National Water Commission and go somewhere else if they are rape and rob the people in. Now, if you have competition, the rates and charges are going to fluctuate and they must have to make sure say them don't rip off the people because the people can go over. They say if there's no op option, then them can do whatever they want to do. The crime situation can only be solved. There's no other way to decrease crime right now. There's none. Um, a lot of the country now work. Zozo now work. None of them did not work. Because when they put up Zozo in the ear of them, man I kill people right around the corner from the Zozo police them. Because when a man see him enemy, and him enemy in a strap, I have no license gun. What if he stop him from kill him? By the time police ear shot, a man they jump two fence and gone. And then him have to depend on the informer to tell him, I who kill the man. You understand? Now if the next man did have a license gun, he's a shootout. So probably the man that saved him life. You understand what I mean? I say? So what I am saying now, and I'm saying this, these are the problems um, we need to fix. So all the government are Baba and Weave and I go on like them I do on oh, no, the shit. Can we not address the four major problems that we have? You understand what I mean? I say? And it's obvious it's not something that needs to be looked at with a magnifying glass. It's right in front of our eye. We know the problem them we're having in Jamaica. So why we can't fix them? Why? I that me would I really like knowing you know, why we can't address these four major issues that we have. What is the reason for them ignoring all of these problems that we have? Them four big giant problems here where we have. Why none of them not get deal with? People, how long a JPS are run light business at Jamaica? How long? How long JPS are rip off the people them? How long? And that mood I like no. How long I gotta sit down and take this? Me want somebody tell me, oh long JPS are rip off people. Oh long water commission are rip off people. So the government not care about the people them. Government don't go business if feed them pocket alright and feed them water bill good. Unnecessary we need people to stop to this. Any government to in a power and help them situation we have to get rid of them in a This don't make the sense in the people. Yeah, we understand when I say the poor have to stay poor, but we have to break the curse there. We can't keep repeating that and act like, okay, we're cool with it. We're not cool with it. You understand? We don't cool with it. So what may I say is, we need one or two more power company. No matter why tech or how hard it is, at that angel them fair work pan. We need a water commission company. No matter how hard or how impossible it seems, that's what we need for work pan. We need the gun laws and the gun process to be easier and more accessible to the regular man in the street. You understand? Mm -mm. Every man and woman should be